I'm John Sadler, president of Sadler Sports and Recreation Insurance, and we've been the officially endorsed insurance agency for Dizzy Dean Baseball and Softball now for over 25 years. I wanted to put together this educational video to provide a broad overview of the insurance and risk management programs and how to access them on our website. So let's get started now by navigating our website. Here's our homepage at SadlerSports.com. Just go to Association Programs and click on the link to Dizzy Dean and it will take you to our Dizzy Dean insurance page. The Quick Education section is the best way to get up to speed on the insurance program in the shortest amount of time. Let's take a look here. The risk of going uninsured or underinsured. There are a small number of leagues out there that don't buy insurance at all or that only buy insurance for their tournament teams. If you fall under this category, you need to check out this section of the risk of going uninsured. I'm just going to hit on some of the highlights. What you'll find out is that we insure approximately 50% of all the teams in Dizzy under the endorsed program, which means that the other 50% either buy from a local agent, which we will discuss in a minute, as that can be risky. They mistakenly think that they're adequately covered by a municipal rec department, or they just knowingly don't buy insurance. Now I will tell you that significant injuries and lawsuits do happen within the Dizzy program and our carriers do pay out a lot of claims and some of them are large which you can see from these statistics. The average accident claim is $1,400 and the average general liability claim is $24,000. Now who could afford to pay these out of pocket? Now here are some of the most common examples of the types of injuries and lawsuits that we see uh, in youth baseball and softball. Spectator injuries usually involve slips, trips, and falls, or being hit by an overthrown ball. We also see player injuries that occur due to a number of different reasons, and when they're serious, they often result in lawsuits. And we also have a number of situations where coaches and volunteer workers are injured. Now we hear a lot of lame excuses why teams and leagues don't buy insurance. Some think that they can't afford the insurance, but the fact is that the costs range anywhere from $4 to $9 per player depending on the age group, and this amount can easily be built into the registration fees. I want to take just a minute to hit on the highlights of the 10 reasons why the endorsed Dizzy program blows away the competition and why you should buy from us as opposed to a local agent or a national sports insurance expert. First of all, obviously we're a single source for all five of your insurance policies. We have massive group buying power. Uh, we have high limits of coverage. We have a number of custom coverage enhancements that you're not likely to find from other agents. And we also have the speed and convenience of the instant online 24 seven quote pay print system so you can, in real time, buy your coverage, print off your coverage documents and certificates for your field owners, and we accept payment by online check or credit card. We also give you the ability to self-issue your own new certificates of insurance for new field owners 24-7. Also, 98% of our clients rate our client service staff as awesome for speed and effectiveness of response. Let's take a look now at a brief coverage description of all five policies. First of all, accident insurance pays medical bills on behalf of injured participants on an excess basis after family health insurance, if any, has first been exhausted. You can see the policy has a $50,000 limit, a $0 deductible. And next, the general liability responds to certain lawsuits alleging bodily injury, property damage, personal injury, and advertising injury. Most of the lawsuits you're gonna see here arise from bodily injury to a spectator or a participant. Coverage is provided for the league as an entity and respective directors, officers, employees, and volunteers. The each occurrence limit is $2 million. We also have a $1 million limit for sex abuse and molestation and a $2 million limit for non-owned and hired auto liability. Now it is important to note that the coverage for sex abuse and molestation will not apply unless three things occur. Number one, you must have a system in place to perform criminal background checks on paid and volunteer staff. Number two, 
must have written procedures that include sexual abuse and molestation prevention. And number three, you must have written procedures that include a response plan for allegations of sex abuse or molestation, including a requirement that law enforcement be notified. Now, the one, two, and three can easily uh, be satisfied with the Dizzy Dean Child Abuse Risk Management Plan, which we will talk about in a minute. Directors and officers liability uh, covers certain lawsuits that are not covered by general liability. Uh, this would be wrongful acts such as discrimination, uh, failure to follow your own rules or bylaws when making administrative decisions, and wrongful suspension or termination of your league personnel or players. It covers the league as an entity and respective directors, officers, employees, and volunteers, and you get your choice of a $1 million or $2 million limit. Next is the crime policy, which pays for financial loss due to insider embezzlement of funds, uh, improper uh, personal charges made on a league credit card, or theft of other property. It's a $25,000 limit. And finally, the equipment policy, pays for loss to league equipment, such as your, your sports equipment, field maintenance equipment, concession equipment, fences, bleachers, school boards, lights, and small buildings, and it provides uh, coverage against the perils of fire, wind, theft, and vandalism. Just want to make one point about what you need to know before you apply for coverage. Uh, first of all, don't make the mistake of only applying for coverage on your tournament teams. Instead, you need to buy coverage on 100% of your regular season teams before tryouts. The reason is most of the risk happens during the regular season, and as we've already discussed, it is very inexpensive to buy the accident and the general liability coverage. Uh, it only costs an average of four to nine dollars per player depending on the age group, and you can easily bill that into your registration fees. The risk of not having coverage during the regular season is just too high. Here are the rates for the accident and general liability, which are per team. Also, we have the rates listed for the directors and officers liability, crime, and equipment policies. Now, the rates do vary slightly from one year to the next. Recent rate increases have been driven primarily by carrier fears over sex abuse and molestation claims. And we're seeing these claims not just in the Olympic governing body sports, uh, but also in, in local recreation based sports are becoming more and more common. Now it's important for you to know that we do ne aggressively negotiate your insurance renewal prices every year. And I can tell you now that the current rates are significantly lower than they were in 2006. And that's pretty impressive when you take into account the fact that medical inflation, which is the primary driver of claims cost, has been increasing at a clip of about 5% per year. If you want to apply for coverage, you should click on this link where you can get a quote, complete your information, make payment, and print off your proof of coverage documents and certificates for your field owners. This only takes about five minutes. 96% of our Dizzy Dean clients apply online because they want instant service on a 24-7 basis. Once you apply, you're given the chance to print off your documents immediately from the web page, but if you need access to them later on or later add teams uh, or self-issue a new certificate, you can save the link in your confirmation email or you can access our login page. If you scroll down to the bottom, Here's our recommended risk management process for Dizzy Dean. First of all, you should appoint a risk management officer to set up and manage your plan. The risk management officer should review all of the steps and documents under this section and should provide the necessary training to your staff. Then, the most important step, of course, is to choose high quality insurance through the endorsed Dizzy Sadler Insurance Plan. Next, you want to contractually transfer the risk of loss to other parties wherever possible. And the basic uh, way you do this is to provide your participants to, and the parents to sign uh, waiver release forms. And I can tell you that waiver release agreements are worth the paper they're written on, despite what you might have been told by your local attorney. And electronic uh, signatures of waiver release forms as part of online registration 
is okay and that's readily acceptable. As regards uh, sex abuse and, and molestation, the 2018 Safe Sport Act has been a game changer and directly or indirectly impacts all teams and leagues within Dizzy. There are serious consequences for failure to comply. The Safe Sport Act has mandatory requirements for reporting suspicions of child abuse within 24 hours to law enforcement and for having a written risk management program that meets certain criteria. Now, we worked with a Dizzy Dean during the 2019 season uh, to customize a program just for, for Dizzy, and you can find a link to it right here, or you can find a link to it on the Dizzy Dean webpage under the risk management tab. Now, if you adopt and implement this program, not only will you be in compliance with the Safe Sport Act, but you'll also meet the minimum requirements of the Dizzy endorsed general liability carrier so that your coverage will not be voided. And we've already talked about those requirements. Now, as regards concussion risk management, note that concussions do account for about 7% of injuries in youth baseball and softball. Many state laws require youth sports organizations to have a written concussion risk management program. And we offer a simple template that uh, Dizzy Dean Leagues uh, can adopt to, to meet this requirement. It's right here. You're also going to want to address other serious risks such as lightning safety and the 30-30 rule. This is the most abused safety rule in all of youth sports in my opinion. Uh, you also want to be up to speed on the dangers of 15 passenger vans uh, and heat illness and also swimming outings. I've seen some of the biggest baseball related lawsuits occurring uh, for drownings and near drownings at swimming outings. And finally, our basic uh, risk management plan at the bottom. It can be used to educate your administrators and staff on how to identify and properly respond to the various risks at the ballpark and within your program. The template keys in on reducing risk in your facilities, your equipment, your instruction supervision, and sports injury care. Now all of the waiver forms, all of the written risk management programs and staff trainings are absolutely worthless unless you can prove that you've implemented them so that you can introduce them into evidence uh, in a lawsuit that may occur years from now. Now we have an article here, uh, it's how to easily organize sports risk management documents in the cloud. I strongly recommend that you use a free cloud-based service such as Evernote or OneNote to, to store all of these docs and you can pass them down to the next person in charge instead of worrying about keeping paper records. All you'll have to do is to, to pass down the uh, login and password credentials. Thanks for your time today. If you have a question, you can reach us by phone, email, or chat. Best wishes for a successful season.